Well, today was kind of a shit day. Um, didn't get the trailer um, because it was just a, needed a bunch of work and stuff like that. Um, just getting in my shop here. Uh, I'm kind of pissed about that. I mean, the guy said, oh, yeah, it looks great and stuff like that, but it wasn't. It. I mean, it needs a new wiring system and um, an, uh, not an axle, but a leaf spring needs to be redone on it. And I'm just, I don't know what to really do no more. I mean, I'm getting tired of all these people saying, oh, yeah, I got, I got a good trail. I got a trail. I'm going to go there. It's just a piece of shit, you know. I don't know. Maybe it's just me or something. Like the guy, I mean, he wanted 250 for it. I, I offered him 200, and you wouldn't even go down. It's like, dude, the things in 19, like it was 1987, I think he said, and it just needed a new, it needed a new deck. Like the whole deck needed to be replaced. Um, just a bunch of other shit, like the wiring and the leaf springs. I mean, it was just ridiculous. Like, I don't know, like. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. I just don't know what the fuck's going to go on. Um, and then I was supposed to um, get the parts for that snowblower in this week. They're not going to be coming in until Monday. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I just think it's a bunch of bullshit with all these trailers. Like, everyone, oh, yeah, they want to sell them, they want to sell them, but, you know. So, it's just a bunch of bullshit. Everyone's like, oh, yeah, I got a good trailer, and... And go there and well, pretty much just a waste of gas money. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of bullshit about that. That's just that's the fifth person that I've gone to and like they say they have great trailers and when you go there, it's just literally a piece of shit. And then you try to offer them at least a little bit less money because I don't have to put money into the trailer. And they're like, nope, nope, can't do that. Nope, I'm pretty firm on the price. I don't know. Maybe they just see me as, like, a kid, and I don't know nothing about the shit and stuff like that, but I don't know. It's really starting to piss me off. Like, I've been trying to find one for the past, like, month and a half now, and I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe maybe um, people just don't see me as really buying a trail, and they just want to see if they can screw me over, but I don't know. Like, I'm getting really sick and tired of posting ads on Craigslist asking for wanted trailers and stuff like that and they've been up my price again like I've already upped it like six times and started off around like 175 now I'm up to like 280 um like 300 is like my final price I'm not going on any higher than 300 because that's just like ridiculous um like I had the cash in pocket I was ready to go I'm like dude cash right here in pocket if you want I can even leave and throw it out there you know Freaking, there's 250 bucks right there. So, I don't know. 20 dollar bills, cash ready, you know. The guy's just being an asshole, so. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put it up there tonight. I'm going to post $300 cash in hand. If they can, if they can send me some good photos with a good you know, a good quality trailer, then yeah, I'll buy it, but I'm just getting sick and tired of all these assholes that are just like, you know, oh, I got a trailer, but when you go there, it needs so much work. Like, I don't mind doing the decking, but when it comes to, like, like there was this one trailer that would come in a box. It, it, like, I couldn't even tow it home. I mean, the axle was literally dangling off of it. Um, another one went... It needed a new decking, new electrical, um, and the tires were completely trashed. But, I mean, I know the tires are cheap and all, but, I mean, it's just getting ridiculous, you know. And then the other guy, this was out in Worcester, uh, the guy had, it was a nice trailer, but the whole, looked like it was a little bit longer. It looked like it was a huger trailer, and the guy just literally cut, using a acetylene torch or a sawzall and just cut the thing in half and made two of them out of it. I don't know what the fuck was up with that. Um, another one, um, it, it was, the axle was, like, getting ready to fall apart. It was all, like, bent and stuff like that. Um, the one I just looked at today, and I was, well, it was supposed to come last night, but then it got too windy and cold and started raining and stuff like that. And we went there today, and the guy's like, oh, yeah, I got a good trailer, I got a good trailer, this, that, and the other thing. And this one, this one needed a new, needed at least two new leaf springs, 
Um, but one would be good for the winter, because um, one of the leaf springs was like shot. It was literally held on with like um, exhaust pipe clamps, and it needed a new decking badly. Um, the tires probably no bigger than you know, I'm just trying. To, tires were probably no bigger than that. Like they were four lug tires, but they weren't big at all. Um, and that wasn't there. All these trails I'm looking at, they're all these pieces of shit. You know, it's like I don't know. I think I'm gonna up my price and see what happens. Because uh, I really want to go snowmobiling and stuff like that. And you can't just, you know, I can't just load them on the back of the F-150 because we got two of them. And just can't do it. I don't know. Maybe it's just me or something. I just don't get it. Like, another guy we went up, I want to say it was Monday, maybe, or Sunday night. Um, the guy said he had, a, you know, another trailer. And the thing looked like it was made for, like, a lawnmower. Like, all these people send me photos of the thing, and, like, it looks good in the photo, but I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Like, if it putting some crazy high quality shit or something like that and photoshopping it but when you get there the thing looks like a piece of shit I mean like the one trail that we just looked at today that was in the wall fam I could have literally stepped on it and fell right through it so I don't know I think it's time maybe I up my price I think it might be time for that so I don't know we'll see what happens still waiting for parts and stuff like that I'm gonna order a new windshield tonight for this thing along with a new speedo cable as if I have time, gotta remember everything, and I don't know. I think I'm getting screwed over this week, big time. I don't know. And this guy still needs to get his lawnmower out here. Like, if if I had access over there and had time, I would definitely throw it out in the backyard right now. Uh, the tires got to go in the basement because they're just taking up too much room. Um, go kart project, hopefully. Work on this thing a little bit this weekend. Um, hopefully, maybe go down to Crazy Man's uh, Charles River Bank there, pick up a motor for it. I don't care really what size motor, and get this thing actually running. Um, as for the Hawn, that project should have been done a while back, and I don't know. Still waiting for my uncle to come down. He hasn't come down in about a month, so can't really do much with the recoil. Uh, as for that Honda, uh, my uncle still got the shaft for it and he's still trying to get out one of the shaft pieces that are in the bearings and stuff like that uh waiting for parts for that these two are just in here that's in here you know i don't know it's just like what do i do you know like do i spend more money and get a you know a half decent one or do i spend 225 dollars on one that needs work put into it, like, you know, I'll be probably spending, like, another, I don't know, what's the decking on it, if I were to do pressure treat it would, it'd probably, I don't know, if I did everything right, 60 bucks, about another 30 bucks in lights, and the leaf spring, I don't even know how much that would cost, that would probably be, like, another 30 bucks or something like that, so, I don't know, I think it's time for me to up the price and really get a good trailer going or something, so, all right, hope everyone has a good night. Talk to you guys tomorrow.